All right, what's up? What's going on, guys? Your boy Crimson Dragon Ian here, back at it again with some more EA Sports UFC 3. Now, one of you have asked me to actually make a tutorial about how to make uh, Shannon Briggs. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys what I made. Um, in my point of view, you might find somebody who made him better. But uh, here's what I did. So I made him a brawler because obviously it's a boxer. So and that's the way I feel like he fought. You know, Shannon Briggs actually had the nickname, The Cannon. That's crazy. Put that, he's from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, made him 6'4", I made him 262. Uh, age 45, I think he's 50 right now, or about to be 50. But I can only go as high up as 45. And uh, 262 and 6'4", these are what apparently he is. I looked up, so... Uh, his hair, I just left, like, a little something on the top. Like, I didn't make him completely bald, as you can see right here. This is, like, completely bald. Like, see, it don't look like that, right? He looks like he has some hair on the top there. So, I kept that like that. Um, eyebrows, I mean, I just left the eyebrows the same. I didn't really pay attention to his eyebrows like that. His beard, though, his beard is kind of like, uh, like a white and, like, a black kind of thing. And they didn't have like an in between. It was just kind of like not that, but like uh, it was kind of either gray or or not, you know? Cause like they had like the black, but it wouldn't fit him, you know? So I figured the gray. I was like, all right, you know, whatever. Uh, the body hair. I didn't really notice if he had body hair or not. So I just kind of you know, blasted it like that. <laughs> uh, what else? I mean, that's like his basic appearance. He doesn't have any tattoos that I know of. So I didn't put any tattoos. And I figured if Shannon Briggs was going to fight in the UFC, it'd be long shorts. Probably wouldn't have anything, you know. But anyway, his skills, the nitty gritty here. The stats, as you can see there, I got 90, 82, 88, and 89. Right? The reason why I put it at 90 was because, well, of course, I didn't want to make him over, completely overpowered and put everything 100, 100, right? So I basically made him a power puncher, as you can see here. His speed is a little bit less than his uh, his strength here. And if anything, I mean, you can decrease it to like 85. You know what I mean? It's just like, whenever he hit, he hit you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he didn't really miss too much from what, I, from what I've seen. I've seen like a couple of his fights before making him. So I can see where, you know, how to put things. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can... Basically, it's interchangeable if you make him 90 or 85, whatever. We can go in the middle and make him 87. It doesn't really matter if it's like a 5 increment. It's, it matters like a little bit if you really, really care about it. Footwork, I just made a 90. Made everything pretty much 90 except for the power. I made it 95. Um, The clinch grapple, I really focused on the clinch because a lot of boxers, they do work in the clinch. They don't really throw or take down or anything. But I would imagine if Shannon Briggs were to come into the UFC, he would want... I he, I would think he would ought to work on his takedown defense. And the grappling is like the... Pretty much the worst thing he has in terms of my build for him. In terms of my build for him. Because, uh, I mean, I don't really see Shannon Briggs going to the ground anyway. If he were to be in the UFC. Like, if anything, you can even make it a little bit lower. Like, these things a little bit lower. Like... Uh, for example, the, um, I don't know, the, the takedown defense, right? Or the takedowns even. You can make the takedowns lower. You know what I mean? When you're playing as Shannon Briggs, at least my build is Shannon Briggs, you're not going to the ground. And if you're going to the ground, you're going to get back up, right? That's why I got the top and the bottom a little bit higher than other stats. Well, not even a little bit higher, I should say, because the highest I got here is the clinch grapple. And the takedown defense. But if anything, you can put the takedown defense. You can put his grappling at an 80, really. As long as you know how to play the game, you can kind of get out of certain situations. Except when you get into a submission. As you see right here, I got 75 and 78. I feel like if your stamina is at, like, I think... Let's say if you're going into, like, the second round, right? Or the third round, even. Later rounds, let's say. You're not going to want to get to the ground. Because you get into a submission, it might be over. Depending on who you're fighting. Well, actually, not even depending on who you It really will might be over. But the stamina, I got the strike stamina and endurance heavy. And I got the grapple stamina at a low. 
Because like I said, you're not going to see Shannon Briggs grappling in the UFC. You're going to see him striking, right? Actually, I mean, if you want, you can make the strike stamina out of 90. Just to make... Because he is 45. I'm pretty sure he's not going to be, you know, striking all that much. It's just how I play with Shannon Briggs. I like to, you know, hit him with something, hit him with something hard, pull back. Hit him with something, hit him with something hard, pull back. If you watch my video, that's literally how I fought. It's like I'll hit him with one or two, and then really hit him, and then pull back. You know what I mean? And then the health, of course, we got the the chin, 90, body 90, and then we got the legs. So it's like if, like, uh, Shannon Briggs went to kickboxing, right? And the guy kept trying to kick his leg and stuff, and it was hurting Shannon. Shannon, I don't even think threw it. He probably threw a kick once. And he was still able to get out of there, but his legs were definitely hurt. Shannon Briggs was a tough dude. He's got a lot of heart, too. So that's how I put my Shannon Briggs in terms of stats. In terms of perks, let me see what we got here. We got heavy hands, of course, because his name is the cannon. So literally everything I put was boxing targeted, right? So I got a plus four, um, plus five, rather, on all the hooks. I didn't really know how to sort these, so I kind of just made them all plus five, right? Like, whatever, right? Zero in, I got plus five accuracy for all consecutive combos. If anything, you don't even really have to put that. You can just... If anything, you can just take this out, literally. If you really wanted to make a clear-cut accuracy standard base, you can just take that out. Because, like, if you're going to hit him with... Like, my accuracy is already high. Like, look, I can show you guys again. The accuracy is already high. It's already a 90, right? Literally, you would only put that ac like accuracy if you're... Well, obviously, if you want it really, really high... Or if you got a little bit low and you want to just make it a little bit higher when you're throwing combos. Um, I got the plus 5 accuracy for punches when opponent is wobbled. So when somebody is wobbled, I just, like, you see me straight just charge at him because I have this on. So it's like my punches are going to hit more. That block is not going to work as much. So, you know, it just it's for breaking the guard, literally. Um, decreases opponent chin attribute by 5 when landing an overhand strike. If you're going to land an overhand with Shannon Briggs, well, of course you want to land an overhand in any situation. You want to make sure that, well, first, for me, I want to make sure my opponent just wobbles, right? I won't risk shooting an overhand unless I can catch him off guard. If I can read the angle of my, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> showing you, like, if you're next to me. But, um, if I'm going to, if I can see the angle of my punch hitting my opponent, and if I can see my opponent not reading what I'm trying to do or trying to see, then I'll throw it, right? But I'll make sure I can hit him with it. Like, maybe throw a straight first or throw uh, throw an uppercut first just to see that he won't see my overhand coming. You know what I mean? And, of course, body punches, you know. If you see my video, you know I love to throw that lead body hook. That lead body hook is great, man. Especially um, if you can time it with the with the with the straight hand or the cross, the rear cross rather. You can go bat and then boom with the left body hook, and you can actually do that if you're moving toward the side. So if you're standing stationary, right, or not stationary, what is it called? If you're standing, let's say regular, not southpaw, right? I think it's just stationary. I think that's what it's called. But if you're saying stationary, right? If you want to move to your right, like to your right, not to your opponent's right, well, basically to your opponent's left or whatever it is, right? You're going to move and then you hit them with the... I'll show you in training. I'll take this to training mode and I'll show you more. But um, moves, I mean, I put everything like boxing-wise. I put on level 5 because I want my Shannon Briggs to have like really heavy hands. But I didn't go crazy. I didn't add no spinning back fist or anything like that. If anything, if I thought he was going to throw something unorthodox, I thought he would throw like maybe a rear elbow in there or something. But that's really all I got. Kicks. It's just a typical leg or body kicks, you know. I didn't really add much of anything in terms of the kicks. So I'm like, Shannon Briggs not going to kick anybody. If anything, he might even knee somebody. But, you know. Clinch, I got an over-under with the clinch. That's pretty much all I got with the clinch. Why do they have red and blue? And these ones have... It, that just bothered me. If you see right here, they got red and blue, right? But then here, 
It's regular. Why not leave it regular? Anyway, that's pretty much all I got for the clinch. Takedowns. I thought if Shannon Briggs was going to do a takedown, probably be just like a single leg or a double leg. Maybe since he's really strong, he'll probably go for a power double leg. But I don't know. I mean, maybe he'll suplex somebody. I don't... These are things I thought... Eh, he probably could do it if he really wanted to. He can get the inside trip if he's an over-under clinch. You know what I mean? But yeah. The ground, I just got core moves. I don't think I put... I left the regular stuff like there. Like this, I didn't really play with too much. But yeah. I have to figure whatever was there, just leave it there. Submissions, I've only... I think I only gave him an arm bar and a guillotine. I think, and I rear naked. Because I figure if that's what Shannon Briggs saw, he would probably get it. And combos, I just use, like, those combos, right? I mean, if anything, if you really wanted to make a good Shannon Briggs, right? You would take these off. Shannon Briggs is not doing no Muay Thai. I mean, if anything, you can put level 2. And then kickboxing, leave at level 2, and boxing level 5, right? That, I like to leave combos like level 5 in case somebody comes to my house, you know, they want to play and they don't really know how to sort their stuff, you know what I mean? Style, the personality, I put Dan Henderson. I feel like if Shannon Briggs was going to go to the UFC, he would fight like Dan Henderson. A lot of overhands. Posture, I put Junior Dos Santos. I don't really like uh, Junior Dos Santos' stance too much for Shannon Briggs, which is why I was actually looking for a more boxing oriented stance but i a lot of people have their hands down i don't really see anybody with their hands up i mean maybe you can go for jessica andrage literally if anything i actually think i might try that out see what what goes down taunts i just got you know these typical stunts i mean taunts i figured this is what shannon briggs would probably do stance i got him an orthodox orthodox that's what it's called orthodox but yeah, that's my typical build for Shannon Briggs. And now I'm going to take you guys to training to actually show you guys what I was talking about. Like in terms of like the body hook and stuff like that. And then we will test them out against a computer. Or we'll go online. I'm pretty sure we'll just test them out against a computer. Just so I can literally just show you things. I'm not trying to just try hard against somebody. But yes. Well, actually... Maybe we will go into quick fight. I'll go into quick fight. Yeah. We'll see how it goes down. But yeah. So let's go into training. Uh, practice mode. This might be a long video. And I'm sorry about that. But I just really wanted to. Make sure I get my point across with this. Yeah. It could be steep. Eh? I mean who cares. And. I mean I'm just trying to show you little things here and there. What threw me off is the complexion, because I know, I know Shannon Briggs' complexion, right? But then, when the lights are on and stuff like that, I mean, this might be good for Shannon Briggs. This stance right here. Because he looks like he's keeping his hands up, right? This looks like a boxing stance. Like, look. Yeah. Okay, so what I was talking about before was if you want to hit him with that, and then... With this, right? So, you see how I move to the side? Instead of this. Look at that. Alright, what else we can do right here? Because I want to show you... Um, health and stamina. Let me show you that, right? Okay. So, I got the health and stamina. So, look at this see that right so now look at this you see how much that hurt the body more so you see that that's a stationary right look at that a little bit same amount but it's just a little bit more and the thing about this is you might not want the more damage but you will get out of the way so like you'll get here now instead of here and you're open to another strike you go here so bah, bah, and then pop Ah, oh, well, I didn't. Yeah, you see that right there? See how I move? Instead of here? Yeah. And while I was talking about the angle, 
is if you could I can't I don't edit right <laughs> so if you can see they're an angle like an N right from me to my opponent I should be able to hit him Bow. look at my feet see how my feet is to the black I know I can't hit him from here but if I see the N from my right glove to his left glove I should be able to hit him well I can hit him from there obviously like if I see that N and we're just going we're you know we're moving bow as long as you can see that and I think the lead is a little bit more distance so like, let's see the lead I can hit him from right here I can't hit him from right here but I can hit him from right here with the left let's see no not there I think right here boom because you see the leg moving a little bit forward boom all right now let's see I'm not sure if I'm gonna lag or not <laughs> I really hope I don't lag, but um, I guess we're gonna get more Shannon Briggs. We'll go to quick fight. We'll do one fight in quick fight, win, lose or draw. But um, let's get this going, and let me show you guys what I was talking about with Shannon Briggs. All right, he's going for Andre Bishop, another boxer. We're going with Shannon Briggs with the blue shorts. I mean, I don't know if Shannon Briggs likes blue or not. Maybe he might. He might not like blue. I don't know. Ugh. But uh, let's see here. Let's see what we're able to do. Coming up next, it's a if I'm putting, you know, what I want into perspective. So more than 10 or let me see if I can actually talk to you guys about what I'm doing, what my mindset is going through, while still trying to remain focused. But uh, let's see here. Let's see how this new stance works out for me. Touching. All right, we're touching. Ba. Oof. We got him with the body. The left hook hits home. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Oof, nice. Didn't expect that hook. Oh, he dropped us. Back up to his feet. And now stop. Oh. Wow. We got him down. We got him down. And we got him fully. So I, <laughs> I didn't even really talk about what I was thinking about. To be honest, we'll do one more. <clears throat> I was trying to focus. I, I wasn't even trying. I literally forgot I was even making a video. <clears throat> Alright, we'll do one more. Maybe he'll pick the same guy. Who knows? But uh, you see how I wasn't trying to throw too much. You know, throw something, back off. Throw something, back off. We'll go with the black trunks this time. Like, he obliterates me in stats. Like, you see the stats, he obliterates me, right? You could say, oh, it's because all my punches are level 5, I got these perks, whatever, right? Well, that ain't my problem. Anyways, all right, coming up next. that's how I personally build them. I don't know how to really play with the perks or anything. If I play with the perks, maybe it would be a little bit more fair. But, uh, yeah. So we're going to go again. Andre Bishop versus Shannon Briggs. In terms of his face, I didn't really know how to craft a face, Okay. I just picked any other face that kind of looked like Shannon Briggs, right? So I just picked that one. I'm like, all right, this looks a little bit like Shannon Briggs. So why not, right? But let's go last fight. He's definitely looking for something here. 
Keeping his distance. That landed. Oh, nice. That one hurt. Oh. We got that. Oof, he got us with that overhand. Oh, massive kick to the body. Hard hook. Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. Oh. Oof, he got us with that overhand again. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. Oof. What I'm trying to do is not go for the body hook in this one. Because he's keeping his distance. Under three minutes to go in round one. And just he sees the uppercut coming. And now we get him with the uppercut into the lead hook. We're going to see if we can damage his body. How about that shin? Powerful jab. He's still getting us with that. Oof. This could be it. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. I definitely press triangle. He's going for the ground here. Neither fighter's really doing anything. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. He hurt him with that hook. Really Oof. A lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Bishop's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Nice jab. Leading from his cheek now. Bishop gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center. Oh, he got me with that. Oh, you heard him. Oh, he might have gotten me. Yup, he got me. All right, well, we have a tiebreaker. What power that guy has. Now we go inside the optical. Who knows? Or will we end this on a loss? Who knows again? Dang, he wobbled me a lot with that overhand. I keep forgetting when you want to dodge an overhand, you dodge to the outside of it, kind of. I don't know if you can dodge down, though. Can you dodge down? I don't know. Rematch requested, so we are going to get the tiebreaker right here. And yes. Let us go with Shannon the Cannon Briggs. It might have been because my shorts were black. I mean, who knows? I mean, colors mean luck. I guess. I don't know. Definitely a great boxer. I should throw an elbow here or there. I'm not going to lie. Or maybe throw some takedowns on him. Who knows? We got 1-1 one, one, though. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a... Is he going to make me watch the whole intro? Who knows? Look at that beer belly. Is he going to skip this, bro? Please. I am not trying to watch this whole intro right now. How long is this video? This video is already 25 minutes. And you're making it longer. Please. I'd rather you knock me out in the first round now. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's touch up. And we are underway here at the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. Nice punch 
launched by Bishop. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Caught him with a punch. Wow, he actually rock. Oh, it's lagging. That's why he rocked me. Oh, it's lagging hard. That one hurt. Nice punch by Bishop. Huge punches landed by both men. The left hook hits home. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Showing the punch. Oh, nice job staying busy. The offensive onslaught continues. Ugh. I what? I dodged that. Oh, he might be out. Big shots. Boom. Big body shot body. Big punches here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always Wow. Is he just going to stay right here? All right, bro. Okay. Damn, man. Really He's gonna do it with the overhand. Or maybe not. On the round one clock. Good defense there. Bishop gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. And that one certainly found the target. That's a hard hook. Oh, big left hook there. <sighs> Hurt him with that uppercut. Just keep putting the hands on him. Oof. So 100 minutes to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. How about that shin? Oh, I have an elbow too, buddy. Bow! Boom, boom, boom! Shannon Briggs does it again! Shannon the Cannon Briggs. What a fight. What a fight. I don't know if I was talking there either. I gotta get more. I gotta get better at talking while I'm trying to focus. I don't know if I was silent the whole time. If I was, I'm sorry. But hopefully, you, sir, who requested this video actually for me to make a tutorial on Shannon Cannon Briggs, hopefully, you learned whatever you wanted to learn. Uh, and hopefully, I was able to show you some things. I wasn't able to utilize the body hook that I was talking about. Or maybe I did. I don't even remember, to be honest. But, hopefully I taught you some things. I definitely need to get back into this game. As you saw, I'm quite rusty. Especially in that second one, I had ring rust. First one was beginner's luck. Second one was ring rust, bro. But anyways, actually third one was ring rust too. I almost lost this one as well. But, like I said, you sir, I don't remember your name. Actually, I will shout you out right now. I will shout you out right now, bro. Merlin. I'm going to butcher your name. I'm sorry. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to call you. You know what? I'm actually pronouncing your name. Merlin Bad Bajulji. Bajuli? Bajuli? I am butchering. I'm, I'm going to just stop. I'm butchering your name. But you, sir. Thank you for requesting. And like I said, hopefully you learned what you wanted to learn about making Shannon Briggs, about how I would build Shannon Briggs and how I would use Shannon Briggs in the cage. If you guys want to request more videos like this on not even just Shannon Briggs, but like tutorials on how I would use other certain fighters like Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor, Nick Diaz, uh, let me know and I will try to do that for you as best as I can. Anyways, like uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitch and Instagram, which will be in the description below. 
put on no post notifications to find out exactly when I'm posting. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace.